So celebrating the Tuesday and all the twos, we were talking about how about two cold fronts. The first one's kind of already pushed through. Again, seeing those temperatures drop in the Concho Valley. Second one's going to start to move its way through our area to go through the evening hours. That's going to be dropping those temperatures to closer to the freezing mark and allowing more of that cold air to make its way in towards our area. Still seeing some of those high clouds across the state of Texas and the Concho Valley, mostly towards the southeastern parts. Again, this streaks from south western Texas out through the Metroplex and in towards Arkansas. That's where we're seeing some of that rain and all that showers that we started with yesterday that has since pushed well off towards the east again moving out of our area and we're going to make way for the chance for some wintry precip as we go through the overnight hours. Temperatures right now in downtown San Angelo 53 degrees, two points in the 20s and again those winds coming out of the northeast much breezier than what we saw in the past hour. 18 miles per hour and continue to stay fairly gusty as we go through the overnight hours and the temperature change from this time yesterday so really feeling the effects of that first cold front 33 degrees cooler in Coleman than what we were this time yesterday about three degrees here in San Angelo slightly warmer off towards the southwest again haven't seen as much of that cold air make it that far south we're going to continue to watch for this colder temperatures as we go through the overnight hours again depending on where you are in the Concho Valley really determines what kind of day you're looking at as far as the temperatures go 40s across the northern part 46 in Coleman 46 in Robert Lee as well then you have the row of 50s 53 in Brady 53 in San Angelo a couple 60s on the map 63 in El Dorado in those couple 70s out towards Ozona as well as Sonora. So again, really stacked nicely as far as our temperatures go. As that colder air continues to push south, we'll see those temperatures drop down into the mid-20s tonight. 24, our overnight low, increasing clouds and increasing those rain chances as well. Still seeing with those gusty winds up to 20 five miles per hour at times. Tomorrow, much colder as that second cold front really makes its arrival. Again, cold and bustery as we see those strong winds coming out of the north as well. Again, 25 miles per hour as well. And those wintry, that wintry mix, again, we can see some freezing rain as well as some sleet during the early morning hours. Again, not expecting a large amount of accumulation, but definitely want to be careful on those overpasses and those bridges because they have the chances of freezing even earlier. Again, northeasterly winds staying in place through much of Wednesday. By Thursday, we'll start to see a little bit of a break from those winds and see them turn more out of the south. That's going to kick off a warming trend as we head into the final parts of the week and in towards the weekend. Wind chill values also could be extremely cold as you're heading out the door for your Wednesday morning. Again, we could see wind chill values dropping into the teens and lower 20s. So again, definitely grab that extra layer. If you're going to start off your Wednesday and getting out there early, it is going to be a cold one. Again, we'll look at some scattered chances for some of that freezing rain. It's not going to be nearly as widespread as the past several winter, winter storms have been, where this is going to be very, uh, again, spotty as far as any accumulation goes. As we get into the afternoon hours, though, we'll start to cut down on those rain chances. And then going into Thursday, a little bit of a warm-up that I was talking about, we'll start to see most of that freezing rain transition to more of a rain event with some of the wintry precip staying further north up towards the Abilene and along the northern parts of the Concho Valley. So again, for your seven-day forecast, again, looking at the accumulation, not expecting a whole lot with that wintry precip, but still want to be extra careful as you're hitting the road for both Wednesday and Thursday morning. Then we'll start to warm temperatures up into the 40s and 60s for us next week.